Welcome to our reflection today, Wednesday, the 15th of June. And today we continue reading from Matthew's Gospel, beginning today at chapter 6, verses 1 to 6, and then 16 to 18 in the 11th week of ordinary time. And so we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus said to his disciples, be careful not to parade your good deeds before others to attract their notice. By doing this, you will lose all reward from your Father in heaven. So when you give alms, do not have it trumpeted before you. This is what the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win people's admiration. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you give alms, your left hand must not know what your right is doing. Your alms giving must be in secret. And your father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not imitate the hypocrites. They love to say their prayers standing up in the synagogues and at the street corners for people to see them. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you pray, go to your private room, and when you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in that secret place, and your Father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. When you fast, do not put on a gloomy look as the hypocrites do. They pull long faces to let others know they are fasting. I tell you most solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face so that no one will know you are fasting except your father who sees all that is done in secret. And your father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. The Gospel of the Lord. You might be forgiven in thinking that we are again in the Lenten season, as this is the gospel that we read every year on Ash Wednesday. When Jesus addresses prayer, fasting and almsgiving, he urges us to turn away from ourselves in order to see the wider picture. In this particular passage, Jesus isn't criticising these practices. He's asking us to examine our motivation in doing them. Prayer, fasting and almsgiving are only a means to an end. They need to lead to something deeper, a relationship with God. This isn't a time for show and fanfare. It's not about looking pious so people can notice our holiness. It's about spending time with God in quiet and private, still doing these things, but understanding that these lead to an in intimacy with God and allowing God to transform us little by little into God's own image. And so we pray, God, teach us humility, teach us compassion, teach us love. Through your Son and with the Spirit, guide and strengthen us. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks, everybody, and see you again tomorrow. God bless.